live affiliate video now. There we go. Is that about the setting about right? It's a little crooked for some reason. Oh, that's worse. Oh, well, it is what it is. There we go. Let me get my guitar on here. Well, here we are. Tonight is the uh, 30th sing-along for us that uh, we just noticed that in the records as we were doing some of the, looking through some of the stuff. We welcome you all here. Welcome, welcome into our living room. Come on in and uh, enjoy the music. Sing-along is what it's really all about. Worship the Lord together. Encourage each other and uh, chit-chat and get acquainted with people we didn't know at all and, and uh just have a good time and and listen and singing and lifting up the Lord. So yeah, here we are. I'm not sure what your day was like. We're I'm kind of chit chatting a little bit uh, until we get some uh, the people are finished coming in. But uh, it was a little cloudy here this morning. Um, but we had the sunshine break out. Hello from Missouri. Okay, is that Missouri or Missouri? It's Missouri. It's Missouri. <laughs> anyway, Gerald Miller. Hey, good to see you. Hi, Pam. Jill Koontz from Maryland, I think. Esther Yoder, good to see you. Regina Evans, we've got a bunch of you popped in while I was running my mouth. So we're glad that you are here and you took this time to join us. Once again, we just ask you to remember that it's a unrehearsed, unedited, fun time of uh, singing oldies and newies and everything in between. And like I said before, a lot of these songs, uh, <laughs> we I probably would have never sung them again in my life. If you, some of you hadn't requested them, we dug them out. Oh, yeah, we sang that years ago and so on and so forth. Hey, she wants to know if we know the Eastern Gate. That's a good one. Yeah, I will meet you in the morning just inside the Eastern Gate. What's that? Yeah, we'll have to dig the words out, Koblenz, for that. Uh, sorry about that. What's that? For tomorrow. For tomorrow, yep, yep. Hi, Brenda Yoder. And Jewel Landis from Chile. Yes, I love it. Is it chilly in Chile today is the question. All right. Yeah, Gene Hosteller, that's kind of interesting. He texted me today and told me that uh, he had worked at Sunnyside um, Retirement or Sunnyside Convalescent Home with Jake, my brother-in-law, because I mentioned the other night that he passed away. And it's hard to believe that it's already about 10 years, 9 or 10 years that uh, Jake's been gone. Hi, Brenda Kaufman. Good to see you. Hey, do we? are we going to do green pastures tonight? <laughs> Boy, we got to get that one down, I'll tell you. Anyway, join us with He Is Here. This is requested by Martha Troyer. Martha Troyer. We'll start with this one. I sense an awesome moving of the Holy Spirit. I see His countenance resting on your face. I know that there are angels hovering all around us. Yeah. 
Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to the Living Room Sing Along. Hi, Cora Koblenz, Dwight and Faith Zimmerman, Montana, the big blue sky state. Marty Miller and Myron Stalsus is watching. Good to have you here, Carla Croft. I kind of feel bad. I hope you don't mind. I mention names of people when I see them only in between songs. Otherwise, I wouldn't be singing because I see you going by. And say, oh, I want to say hi to them. And then by the time we get done with our song, I forget it. So anyway, <laughs> so the focus is on the on uh, singing these songs and having a good time together. Here we got an old hymn. You're going to break out your, put your uh, lemonade and your tea and your coffee down and sing along. This is a great song here. Go ahead. Okay, this song was requested by Sharon Hearn. Sharon Hearn, this is for you. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Guitar players and fiddle players and banjano, banjano, <laughs> banjo pickers, join us. We're going to do it in the key of G. Stand up, stand up for Jesus, we soldiers of the cross. Lift high his royal banner, it must not suffer loss. From victory unto victory, his army shall be lead. Till every foe is vanquished, and Christ is Lord in Stand up, stand up for Jesus, stand in His strength alone. The arm of flesh will fail you, ye dare not trust your own. Put on the gospel armor, each piece put on with prayer. Where duty calls or danger, be never wanting. Stand up, stand up for Jesus, the strife will not be long. This day the noise of battle, the next the victor's song. To him who overcometh, a crown of life shall be. For thee, the King of glory, shall be sitting down on the outside but I'm standing up inside standing up for Jesus I love songs that help you get a, a eternal perspective there it said in that song the, the strife will not be long and I'm thinking it gets pretty long sometimes you know but in reality when you compare it with eternity huh, just a vapor just gone like that hi Doris Nisley Yoder good to see you here and Fanny Miller Fanny Miller is watching all right this one was requested by Donald and Kelly Goldsboro. Donald and Kelly Goldsboro are old friends from back, old friends, old friends from back east in Delaware. Uh, I learned to know them when their son Kevin first started coming to our school the, when I was teaching. Never forget some of the funny, he was in the first grade with uh, Sister Ruth. We called her Sister Ruth when she was in school teacher. And uh, she had Kevin and she brought him out to the house one day. And Kevin had this fear of dogs, and our poor little collie just went trotting up towards Kevin, thinking he's going to get a pat on his head or something. And instead, Kevin went running the other way, going, ah! <laughs> I think Kevin got over that fear of dogs, didn't he? <laughs> anyway, lots of good memories of Kevin. What a cool guy. And of Donna and uh, Donald and Kelly as well. Remind me, dear Lord, this one says. Donald and Kelly, this is for you. The fear that I love and hold dear to my heart are just borrowed, they're not mine at all. Jesus, only let me use them to brighten my life, so remind me. Show me where you brought me from and where 
chose the road to Calvary to die in my stead. Why he loved me, I can't understand. So roll back the curtains of memory now and then. Show me where you brought me from and where I could have been. Remember. We do need reminders, don't we? You know, you say sometimes you don't realize what you have and you don't realize how good it is until you don't have it. I'm being reminded every day, I think. <laughs> I meet so many of my friends and some of the folks there and they say, oh man, we miss seeing you. And then I realize how each person is a gift. Each person in your in your circle of influence in your life is a gift. Like Dale Keffer. Hey, good to see you, Dale. And, uh, you know, all of you coming in here tonight and just joining in singing, um, uh, you are all gifts from God to each other and to us. Yeah. This was requested by Cora Plank. Cora Plank asked for tender love of Jesus. Now you got to, you got to do the, oh, maybe not. Okay. We got, yes, love. They got the bass and the tenor joining out. Tender love of Jesus. This is best sounding in a congregation or in a choir, right? <laughs> We're going to do it in the key of C, guitar players. Love me so tender love of Jesus, so lovely and so pure, flowing through this vessel to strengthen, fill, and cure all the doubts and turmoil that's caused by sin and shame, making me a witness to His most holy name. Yes, love. How God's love and then His life to give Came to be a servant with God's great power to move Leads us to the Father whose love will never cease Yes, love, Christ love Joanne. <laughs> I was a trying. <laughs> Picking in a grinning, right? It's fun, I'll tell you. <laughs> I think probably my favorite hobby right now, well, it always has been maybe, I don't know, is um, guitar playing. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Oh, Fanny Wanger says her tired body from working too hard today. I know the feeling, Fanny. My back's been kind of acting up and the night I got home and I got down, I said, oh, it feels good just to not do, you know, just to relax it. And Ruth wanted me to take some, um, some, uh, what'd you want me to take, honey? What's Tumeric. it called? Turmeric or something. I'm like, no, no, no. And she said, you're just wanting to suffer. I said, no, I just want to relax it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's go ahead. You ready? Yep. Okay. This song was requested by David Miller for his father-in-law. How beautiful heaven must be. All right. David Miller requested for a father-in-law. How beautiful heaven must be. In the key of G. Yeah. We read of a place that's called heaven. It's made for the pure and the free. These truths in God's word he has given. Happy 
and free. Fair haven of rest for the weary. How beautiful heaven must be. The angels so sweetly are singing up there by the beautiful sea. How beautiful heaven must be, sweet home for the happy and free, fair haven of rest for the weary, how beautiful heaven must be. Woo, hey man, looking forward to that. Speaking of beautiful heaven, but don't you also really just love the beauty of nature? Uh, there at the Rock of Ages, I, I marvel the flowers and they, they they have that village just looking so beautiful. Uh, Delvin, he loves to he loves to make it look nice. And uh, boy, that whole village. I was riding through it today and, and getting ready to come home. I want to sing this song next, if I may. What a okay. wonderful world. And um, getting ready to come home and uh, I passed some tulips and some of the beautiful flowers. I stopped with my golf cart and backed up and started taking pictures. And uh, yeah, it's just... It's all the beautiful things we see, and we see them every day. We just take them for granted. But here's this old song. Ray Price sang this song, old African-American boy. He had a raspy voice that was so unique. I love it with this song. I won't be able to do it like him, but listen to the words of this song. God gave us a wonderful world to live in. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them blue for me and for you and I think to myself what a wonderful world I see skies of blue clouds of white the bright blessed days the dark sacred light night and I think to myself what a wonderful world Colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people going by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. I hear babies cry, and I watch them grow. They'll learn so much more than I will ever know And I think to myself What a wonderful world I see trees of green Red roses too I see them blue For me and you And I think to myself Provides. I put Lord in there. He made the earth for us to enjoy, didn't he? Amazing there. I thought about that little line in there. Babies cry. I got this philosophy about that. Some of mamas feel so bad sometimes in church, you know. Uh, this is before the day when they stuck them in nurseries. But um, mamas are sitting there in church and their baby starts crying. And they try so hard to get them to quiet so they don't disturb anybody. Sometimes they get so nervous themselves. I think they make the child cry more. And I've always said, I said, you know, oh, and that happens on airplanes. I know it happens on airplanes. They get their baby on there and they're just doing everything they can to keep them happy. And, and of course, the airplane goes up and their ears pop or whatever and they start crying. And the moms feel so bad. And I think to myself, hey, babies crying is music. It's how they make music. Now, admittedly, sometimes I want to turn the music off. <laughs> But uh, yeah, don't get so nervous, mamas. We love to hear your babies cry a little bit. <laughs> anyway, hi, Cora Byler. Hey, Nancy, good to see you there. He didn't notice me either, like fun I did. Oh, I see how you are. <laughs> All right, what are we singing now? <laughs> okay, this was requested by Judith Martin, When I Survey.
Judith Martin once when I survey the wondrous cross. Yes, this brings worship to our hearts, and y'all know this song, so let's put some bass and tenor and alto and soprano and whatever else in there and lift up the Lord together. When I survey the keep going but i'll stop okay. we got other songs to sing here all right uh boy i was i was thinking about something when i sang that song what was it i wanted to talk about it a little bit oh by the way i know some of you just joined uh thanks to you guys all joining us and everything this is our 30th uh night that uh, we had to sing along and we're blessed by that i think about how uh so much has changed in the last well 30 40 days and uh we didn't start this sing along right away but um you want the story on Raymond. Oh, <laughs> a couple nights ago, I mentioned that I had a story about Raymond Chupp from the Chupp family. Now, the Chupp, had, the Chupp family had a whole bunch of boys. I think there's five of them all together. Raymond, Daniel. Oh, Daniel. He's a, he, anyway, they were all a riot act. I loved them. They were so full of energy. Great friends. And uh, we ended up, when we first moved down to, to Delaware, going to Messiah Church. And uh, we also went to that school they had. I think Rachel Lapp was the teacher. But one day I did something and I felt so bad. But we were like kidding each other around. And I was. we were coming in from class after break. The bell had rung. And um, we were coming in from class and Raymond stuck his foot out like he was going to trip me. Well, he pulled it back in plenty of time. He was just, you know, teasing me. But I did a dramatized fall. I went yeah, down on the floor right there. <laughs> and, and the bell had already rung and Miss Lap, she's like, what happened? Well, I, I was bad. I said, he stuck his foot out. And he had, but he had pulled it back. And I don't know how Raymond got in trouble, but boy, Miss Lap gave him a look like, woo, it would melt cheese right off of a cheese roll. I'm telling you. <laughs> and uh, and I, then afterwards, I felt so bad for Raymond that he got in trouble because I was being such a goofball. Sorry, Raymond. I get to make my wrongs right now. <laughs> but I'm not saying you didn't deserve it. Just saying. <laughs> we had fun. I have always appreciated Raymond's sweet spirit, though. Yeah, I really did, honestly. Yeah, good guy. Okay, right. this song was requested by Loretta Watt. Loretta Watt asked for the old rugged cross, all right? On, in G. On a hill far away Stood an old rugged cross The emblem of suffering and shame and I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. 
I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. Amen. To the old rugged cross, I will ever be true. It's shame and reproach I gladly Call me someday to my home far away, where His glory forever I'll share. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down. I will cling. That's going to be something to look forward to, too, isn't it? Wow. The old rugged cross. The Bible says that if to be his disciples, we have to be willing to pick up our cross and follow him. Denying ourselves, right? It's all, it's all about the Lord anyway. It's not about us. And uh, I have to remind myself of that sometimes when I ask the Lord for, for different things. And I think, well, it's not about me. Amen. Hi, Pat from Bradenton, Florida. There are some other Florida folk on here tonight I saw. Wonder what the weather's like down there. By now, it's probably 90 degrees and muggy, huh? <laughs> anyway, love to visit Florida. All right. Okay, this is our kids section, and we're going to do Bless the Lord for Daisy. She loves this song. We're at the kids section, huh? I'll have to do this a little bit. Daisy loves Bless the Lord. Yes, we got... But uh, somebody, a, a newspaper columnist once said... Uh, he put in the newspaper that he wanted the, the kids to send in something, pro, some profound quotes, quotes that they thought really were meaningful. Uh, they called it Deep Thoughts by Jack Handley. And here's some of the thoughts that the kids sent in. A 15-year-old wrote in, I believe you should each day live each day as if it were your last, which is why I don't have any clean laundry, because come on, who wants to wash clothes on the last day of their life? <laughs> That's good. Here's one. Age 13, kid wrote in and said, Give me the strength to change the things I can, the grace to accept the things I cannot, and a big bag of money. <laughs> Profound statements from kids. Here's another one. Age 10, kid wrote in, Democracy is a beautiful thing, except for that part about letting just any old yogel vote. <laughs> one more. <laughs> Here's a good one. This is from an age six-year-old, a profound comment. Think of the biggest number you can think of. Now add five. Then imagine if you had that many Twinkies. Wow, that's five more than the biggest number you could come up with. <laughs> that's pretty profound, don't you think? That's a lot of Twinkies. Hi, David Graff from Mexico. All right, that's cool. I love it. I think you might be the first Mexico we've seen, no? No, maybe not. John Miller is watching. All right. Good to see you, John. All right. Where are we going next? Oh, I'm sorry. I took a Daisy. This is your favorite song, right? Or one of, one of them. Yeah. She's our sweetheart. Daisy, we're going to sing, Come Bless the Lord. Join us in this. Come bless the... No, 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 no. I'm sorry. There, I did it. I did it. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Ble indeed. Bless the Lord, oh, my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh, oh, oh my 
How do you keep that all straight? I write it down. <laughs> I know, but you have to find your spot each time. Wow, you do good. Uh, yeah, I can't even keep straight what song we're singing. <laughs> I'll start with the wrong one. Anyway, hi, Herb Miller. Good evening to you. Hey, Mary Stalsus. Yes, this is a beautiful song. Now we're going to sing, Oh, How I Love Jesus, to our little... What, were, what are they to us? Great nieces? Great nieces. Little great nieces? <laughs> that would be Marcy and Nate's kids? All right, all right. I'll tell you, Marcy and Nate, you guys got some really neat kids. I'll tell you that. Well, there's other nice stuff we like about you, too. <laughs> Just saying. How I love Jesus. Let's do this in the key of E. There is a name I love to hear. I love to sing its worth. It sounds... put on there about uh, Wesley Marner's tenor voice singing beneath the old olive tree. I don't know that song, but I will tell you this story. We have a gentleman, retired preacher there, um, who every once in a while he'll say, you know that song, the old olive tree? And I'll say, no, I don't know it. Then he sings it for me. <laughs> a part of it anyway, to the best of his ability. Uh, by the way, there's two things I wanted to mention tonight. One of them is my brother Chris sent a song uh, written to the tune of Mountain Railroad, a truck driving song, and he said, can you sing this for Galen Kaufman, who is on his way back from Florida or almost home or something? And uh, I said, uh, yes, no problem. And he said, well, you might not be able to open it up. I said, "My," I said, I got word, Chris. I can open up everything you sent. Well, the truth is, Chris got some kind of old word program that must be as old as the song itself, Chris. I mean, I can't open that thing. It, it opens in all kinds of foreign language. So I tried, but I'm sorry, brother. You're going to have to take a picture of it, print it out, or, or get it on your computer screen. Well, I'll print it out and take a picture of it and send it that way. Then I'll get the words and I'll be able to sing it. Hey, Carlos Whitmer. That boy's from Montana, isn't he? Isn't he a Montana boy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's one of them guys who faces the snow in the springtime and, uh, well, I don't know, whatever else you face. The winds out there in beautiful Montana with the big blue skies, right? And then the other thing I wanted to mention was I said a couple uh, nights ago that we don't have any songs in honor of the medical profession. We were honoring the truck drivers and somebody sent words to a parody to um, the tune of uh, There Shall Be Showers of Blessing, but we never printed it out, did we? I didn't, really. I didn't tell my wife about it. They said, if you want to make sure a text gets through, 
uh, text it or message it through the uh, sing-along page. Some of them I get and I kind of forget them because I'd be, quite frankly, I'm getting barraged with Texas, uh, texts from work, uh, you know, about my work and I try to pay attention to them while I'm there. Um, so yeah, not barrage, but I get quite a few of them along with the emails and all that other stuff. So I apologize. We don't have those two printed out. If you remind us and Lord willing, we do this, keep doing this sing alongs. We'll, we'll get both of those and pull them out and, and, and play them. This one's brand new to me. So, but we're going to risk trying it. I say it's new. The, it's called the apple tree. Who asked for this, babes? Dwayne and Lynette Zimmerman. Dwayne and Alette. I let Annette, Lynette. Lynette Zimmerman <laughs> asked for this. And uh, you could probably do this better by yourself without me because I've never done it before. But I love the message. I've heard it before, sort of. But it's we start out and we wrap up with a familiar chorus. What is the chorus again? The chorus of a song. Coming. Okay, let's do that D. We're going to do it D. Coming home. Coming my train to arrive and there was a man seated next to me with a smile on his face he said God sure has blessed us with a beautiful day the man noticed that I didn't want to talk so he just said well I'm a preacher son and if there's anything I can do for you just let me know well the train arrived and we left and as we got closer to my home I told the, te the preacher my story, and it goes like this. I was young and hard-hearted, and I thought I knew everything, and I got real mean. I got so mean that I even hit my mom. And my dad said, son, even though it breaks our heart, you're going to have to leave home. So I left. I went out so far in the world, and I got in so much trouble that I was put in jail. And while I was in jail, a minister told me about Jesus. And then I remembered all the things that my mom and dad had taught me about the Lord. And I gave my life to the Lord, and now, Pastor, I'm going home. Well, the preacher said, Son, how do you know that you'll be welcome back home? Well, Pastor, I wrote and told Dad and Mom that if I was welcome back home, that, that that old apple tree back in the yard that you can see from the train, I asked them if they would just tie a little white rag in the limb. And then that way I'd know that I'll be welcome back home. And then I said, Preacher, there's just one thing you could do for me if you would. And he said, Yeah, I... I will. I said, well, I'm getting close to this home, to my home. And would you just look and see if there's a little white rag in the old apple tree? He said, son, sure, I'll look. And then he said, hey, son, I see that old apple tree and it's in full bloom. There's rags and towels hanging everywhere. And outside, there's an old white-headed man and a woman standing and waving a big white sheet and a sign saying, Welcome home, my child. Welcome home. Come in. chokes you up, doesn't it? When you think of the beautiful, wonderful redemption plan and the forgiveness of Jesus and he says, come on home. <laughs> Don't matter where you've been. Reminds me of the story of the 
of the prodigal son. And yes, Marianne Hake also, that song of tie, yellow ribbon, has a whole different meaning, but it, that reminds me of that song too. But uh, boy, I just want to say something here. I, you know, we do a lot of laughing and I want to take tell you something from the bottom of my heart. I've met quite a few elderly folks out here and, uh, since I've been serving as chaplain at the retirement home. And one of the things that tears me up is when there's broken relationships and the parents are facing their deathbed or they're they're facing the last several years of their life and they start thinking about their son who for some reason or other won't talk to them anymore or their daughter who doesn't want to talk to them or they have children that won't talk to each other and and all the pain that that brings and and I often say to them I said life's too short and I've had the privilege of a few times reaching out on behalf of some of these parents and and the healing that comes when those daughters and sons call back home and say, dad or mom, it's all right. And so, um, yeah, communicate that with your parents. I know some of you had had some rough parents, some rough um, relationships that weren't there that you wished would have been or some real painful memories. But boy, there's nothing in me. To me, there's nothing as beautiful as the forgiveness and the restoration of relationships, first with Jesus and then with each other, too. Okay, there's my sermon for tonight. Hi, Rufus. Hey, man, good to see that you're on with us. Yeah, that's a tearjerker, <laughs> Marianne. That's my sister, Marianne, there, my oldest sister. Okay, this was requested by Larry Mallow, Tyler, who is 11 years, and Jemima Yoder. All right, if you're playing banjo, get her wound up. This is a banjo song. When the roll is called up yonder, we're going to sing it bluegrass style tonight. So sing along. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more And the morning breaks eternal bright and fair When the saved owners shall gather over on the other shore And the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there When the roll is called up yonder When the roll is called up yonder When the roll is called up yonder When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there On that bright and cloudless morning When the dead in Christ shall rise And the glory of His resurrection share When the saved of earth shall gather To their home beyond the skies And their role is called up yonder I'll be there When their role is called up yonder When the role is called up yonder When the to go on did you too <laughs> she thought you thought i was going to too oh man i was like <clears throat> something happened to my voice when i was blaring it out there <laughs> and uh, i thought about a big truck going down the road going so fast and you blew a tire here big trouble <laughs> mm. oh boy speaking of blowing voice a long time ago i got lots of good memories of uh, about this song but a long time ago i used to go to the auctions with my daddy daddy loved to go to auctions and I remember uh, he, we'd go in there to New Holland Sale Barn or different places and go up to the top and get us a bag of hot peanuts and sit down and watch him bring these cows through and watch the antics of the guys driving the uh, livestock through. And, and I loved it. Anyway, I like to hear the sound of an auctioneer. This was requested by William Mullet. William Mullet asked for the auctioneer song and Leroy Van Dyke the one who made this so good. Well, there was a boy in Arkansas who wouldn't Whoops, let me try that again. My pick fell out of my hand. <laughs> well, there was a boy in Arkansas who would listen to his fall. She told him that he should go to school. He'd sneak away in the afternoon, take a little walk, and pretty soon you'd find him at the local auction barn. He'd stand and listen carefully till pretty soon he began to see how the auctioneer could talk so rapidly. He said, oh my, it's do or die, I gotta learn that auction cry, I gotta make my mark and be an auctioneer. $30, a bit, and out of $40, a bit, and out of $50, $60, $55, $55, $55, who's gonna give me the $65 bid? Tonight, I'm gonna make my mark and be an auctioneer. 
65, now a 7, now a 70, now a 80, now a 80, now a 90, now a 80, now a 90, now a 90, now a soda, now a hog, now a 90 dollar bill. Well, as time went on, he did his best and all could see. He did in jest, he practiced calling bids both night and day. His pop would find him behind the barn just to raise him up an awful storm as he tried to imitate the auctioneer. His dad said, son, we just can't stand to have a mediocre man sell things at the auction using our good name. I'll send you off to the auction school and then you'll be nobody's school. You can take your place among the bands. Thirty dollar bid and dollar forty dollar bid and dollar fifty dollar sixty dollar fifty dollar fifty dollar fifty dollar gonna give it a fifty five dollar bid. Sixty five out of seventy now seventy now of eighty now of eighty five ninety now of eighty five ninety now of sold out of hog with a ninety dollar bid. From that boy who went to school there grew a man who played it cool. He came back home to the full fledged auctioneer. And people came from miles around just to hear him make that rhythmic sound that filled their hearts with such a happy cheer. His fame spread out from shore to shore, he had all he could do and more. Had to buy a plane to get around. Now he's the best in all the land, let's pause and give this man a hand. He's the best of all the auctioneers. Third out of bidding, out of forty, out of bidding, out of fifty, out of fifty five, fifty five, sixty five, but who's gonna give it sixty five dollar bid? Sixty five out of seventy, out of seventy, out of eighty, out of eighty, out of ninety, out of eighty, out of ninety, but sold out of hogs for the ninety dollar bid. All right, what we got? What lot? One twenty-nine. Bring him out. Walk him on, boys. Now, one hundred one, ten, one, ten, one, twenty. Now, thirty, now, forty, yeah, fifty, now, fifty, that's sold to Matty Bontrager, whose daddy was an auctioneer for twenty years. Whoa! All right. <clears throat> yeah, that's the song that you kind of want to jump around with. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> want to do this one, huh? Uh, take me home. Yeah, we'll do that one. While we're on the uh, non-sacred portion, I guess you might say, or the the uh, the uh, fun or the secular part, I, it's just as much fun singing gospel songs for, for me. It really is. But here's a that's a story song. Here's a song that John Denver wrote. That I think uh, yeah, it was the one that really got him on the chart. That got him started. The story is he tried for years to write songs, and and then nobody ever really noticed him until he wrote this one. And when this one was recorded. This got him started. He wrote a lot of songs after that. Take me home, country road, almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River, in the key of G. Life is old there, older than the trees, younger than the mountain, growing like a breeze, country road. Take me home. country roads all my memories gather round her the miners lady stranger to blue water dark and dusty painting on the sky misty taste of moonshine teardrops in my eye country road take me home to the place
had to put Sheridan, Oregon in there for Larry Byler. I knew that's around, or Les was. It said that's that's their neck of the woods over there. Mm. It is, but I'll tell you, it's pretty there in West Virginia, but I don't think they got anything on Oregon here. Woo! Nope. I don't think so. Anyway, where are we going now, babes? Okay, this we're going home for supper time. All right. right? <laughs> we're going for, it's, it's supper time, guys. Her, All right. Herb Miller requested this one. We're going to do this in the key of C, I believe. Many years ago, in days of childhood, I used to play till evening shadows come. Then winding down an old familiar pathway, I heard my mother call at set of sun. Come home, come home, it's supper time. Shadows lengthen fast. Come home, come home, it's supper time. We're going home at last. One day beside her bedside, I was kneeling. And angel wings were withering the air. Mom heard the call for supper time in heaven. And now I know she's waiting for me there. Come home, come home, it's supper time. The shadows lengthen fast. Supper time, we're going home at last. In visions now I see her standing yonder, and her familiar voice I hear once more. The bank tables ready up in heaven it's supper time upon that golden shore come home come home it's supper time the shadows lengthen fast come home come home it's supper time we're going thought. Remember stepping into the house and feeling the warmth of the wood stove and the smell of the meal on the table and how you anxious you were, how good it felt to be home and come in and have that meal. Man, heaven is going to be that times a thousand. Amen? <laughs> yeah. All right. What do we got next? Oh, boy. <clears throat> This was requested by Tyler Newswanger. Tyler, I don't know if I can do this and boy, I, I hear the sound of a rushing mighty wind. I might have to do it in D, maybe. We'll try it. It's called Midnight Cry and it is so appropriate. Folks, lift up your heads. Your redemption draws nigh. We don't know how close, but it could be tomorrow and it could be a thousand years from now. I hear the sound of a rushing mighty wind And it's closer now than it's ever been I can almost hear the trumpet As Gabriel sounds the call At the midnight's cry Steps out on a cloud to call his 
his children, the dead in Christ shall rise to meet him in the air, and then those that remain shall be quickly changed at the midnight cry. I think I'll quit there. I am not doing that song justice. That is a beauty. Yeah, Ivan Parker, amen. It is a beautiful song, and I will try to get the proper recording in there and learn that a little better because it's worth it. I don't know the old violin, Jason Martin. I love that song, Beautiful Message. The touch of a master's hand, I think, is the idea around that. Love that song. <clears throat> but uh, never done that one, Mr. Martin. Sorry about that. Mm. Oh, what we got? Oh, a good old hymn again. I love it. This was requested by Javita Miller. This is one you sing at funerals, I think. Do we? Sometimes. Janita Miller, we love it, called Sweet By and By in the key of G. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by faith we can see it afar. For the meet on that beautiful shore yeah. <clears throat> hey that reminds me actually did you do you have a mouth organ song are we running out of time I don't know. do you have a mouth organ song or don't you I don't know this is what um do, 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 do. I don't see any okay wow I've got a lot of songs left though huh yeah well maybe we should do a shorter one then um let's do uh Oh, let's do There's Coming a Day. Saves me by his grace. 
When he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land, what a day, glorious day that will be. <laughs> I had to try that. Oh, yeah. You know, I just had a brainstorm. And uh, sometimes my brainstorms are nothing but drizzles. But um, what's her face said, uh, Pam Chup said on there that the harmonica is song, Neither Do I Condemn Me, is the easiest to play. Hey, Nathan Glick, um, it hasn't happened yet. Maybe someday, keep trying, right? But I had a thought. What if some of you would host the living room sing along some nights and we would just join in and listen in? Huh. That's a thought. So any volunteers out there who want to go ahead and host a sing-along? Why, we'll gladly come to your living room. Ours is getting kind of dirty anyway. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not. This lady here keeps a clean, a, clean, uh, a clean living room. I'll tell you that. A house, I meant to say. Yeah. Your bird likes to sing with the harmonica. <laughs> That's cool, Nate. Uh, Dana, I'd like to hear that. That's pretty neat. <laughs> okay. This was requested by... Where am I? Javi... No, I'm sorry. It, it Betty is, Bailey. Betty Bailey. It asks for It Is No Secret What God Can Do. It reminds me of Tennessee Ernie Ford. Boy, what a voice he had. Written by Stuart Hamlin, who wrote the uh, I'll Fly Away and some of those others. <clears throat> Sounds a little low. Where's my capo at? Oh, brother. Trevor, can you grab my capo? It's in my guitar case here. I was going to do it in A, but then I, I'm afraid I would leave the chords. You see there? Yeah, he's getting Run that baby over here, sir. It's in the... Wait, maybe it's not there. I don't remember seeing... Is it in my guitar case? Oh, there it is. Thank you, sir. All right, we're going to do this in the key of A. I'll be playing it in G, though. Um, don't often use my capo, but it's called It Is No Secret. It is no secret what God can do, what He's done for others, He'll do for you. Someone you, you may have longed for and his strength, your courage to renew. Do not be disheartened, for I am news for you. It is no secret what God can
what God can do. Amen. What a beautiful song. What he's done for others, he'll do for you. I know sometimes you may feel like, oh, he'll do it for anybody else, but he's not going to do it for me. Well, I struggle with that feeling too. But the problem is Satan tries to tell you you're not important to God. He tries to tell you you don't matter. It's not true. And it's no secret that he can do amazing things in your life. Anyway, I feel a preaching coming on. Let's go move along real quick. Okay, this was requested by Kay Yoder. The battle's not mine. <clears throat> the battle's not mine. Little David. The battle's not mine, said little David. Lord, it's thine, I'm in your favor. I'm giving it all to you. I knew not what to do, and I'm so glad you let me see. You're really all that I need, for the battle's not mine. I give it to you, Lord, it's thine. Little David. just too high for poor little David. So he shook off all of his load, for with the power of God he was clothed. He said, the battle's not mine, I give it to you, Lord, it's thine. The battle's not mine, said little David, Lord, it's thine, I'm in your favor. giant he stood that day well it seems it'll be the end for poor little David but just like the lion and the bear he slew well old Goliath will come down too for the battle's not mine I give it to you Lord it's thine David, he stands tall. Now Goliath seems so small. Sweet victory had reigned for little David. Cause he gave the battle to one who has a record of getting things done. He said, the battle's not mine. I give it to you. Lord, it's thine. The battle's not mine, said I saw that that misprint you put on that spell correct civics 19 that was a pace 19 and civics <laughs> just kidding uh yeah you're right this is not our battle this is not our battle and yet we're right involved in the middle of it isn't it aren't we we are standing as soldiers we've got the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit the helmet of salvation Woo! he's ready it's not our battle, it's the Lord's. All right, where are we going next? Huh? Hey, this is requested by Laura Shepherd. Laura Shepherd asked for the song, The Lighthouse. I think we'll do this in the key of D, guitar players. There's a lighthouse on the hillside That overlooks life's sea And when I'm tossed it sends out a light a light that I might see And the light that shines in the darkness now Will safely lead us o'er If it 
wasn't for the lighthouse, then my ship would sail no Everybody that lives around us says to tear that old lighthouse down. You know the big ships don't sail this way anymore, and there's no use of it standing ground. But then my mind goes back to that stormy night, but just in time I saw the light. Yes, the light from that old house that stands up there on the hill and I thank God for the lighthouse I owe my life to him for Jesus is the lighthouse and from the rocks of sin he has shown the light around me so I can clearly see if it wasn't for that old lighthouse. Tell me where would this ship be? Amen. It's a beautiful word picture, isn't it? Jesus is our lighthouse. There's that more contemporary song that Trevor really liked. That the um, oh, that group that came from Pennsylvania to the Rock of Ages for Work Week. Uh, Cliff and Luila's grandchildren, I think, uh, sang the song, He's My Lighthouse. Remember that one? I don't know. He's My Lighthouse. Anyway, we won't sing it, but yeah. <laughs> she got this worried look on, it, on yeah. her face. She's like, you're trying to get me to sing that song? <laughs> yeah, I do that kind of stuff, poor girl. <laughs> anyway. Okay. This is requested by Kayleen Martin. Kayleen Martin asked for day by day and with each passing moment. It's a beautiful prayer for us all to have. <clears throat> if we worry about tomorrow, that ain't going to do us any good, is it? In the key of C, day by day and with each passing moment, strength I find to meet my trials here. Trusting you. My father's wise bestowment I've no cause to worry or to fear He whose heart is kind beyond all measure Gives unto each day what he means best Part of plain and pleasure, mingling deal with peace and rest. Bring that a little closer. I want to do the second and third verse. Help me then in every tribulation, so to trust your promises, O Lord, that I. Not faith, sweet consolation offered me within your holy word. Help me, Lord, when toil and trouble meeting, ere to take as from a father's hand one by one the days, the moments fleeting till I reach the promised land. That went a little better, didn't it? A little bit. 
I said, man, hey, New Brunswick. No kidding. That is awesome. Wow. Isn't it cool how we can go? Distance doesn't seem to be an issue here, does it? Yeah, we got people overseas. It's so much fun to be able to see that part of it. That's for sure. All right. <clears throat> and then we got Alberta folks here. And that's laid up there, I think, isn't it? Aren't they ahead? And uh, okay, Regina says that her son is in Canada. Wow. Oh, that doesn't mean he's listening here. That's just where he lives. Okay, I got that. I misunderstood that. What do you got, babes? Okay, Doris Bender requested this one. Doris Bender. I think Bender is a relative, isn't she? Well, maybe not. We don't know. We know lots of Benders that are related to the Nisley some way, somehow, through marriage, I think, right? Yeah, this is often weary and worn. Oh, this is an oldie goldie. In the key of D. Often weary and worn on the pathway below. When the burden is heavy, my heart throbs with woe. Oh, there comes a sweet whisper to quell every sigh. Do not faint in the Lord. There is rest by and by. There is rest by and by. Time to rock off. See what time it is. We gotta quit. Um, no, let's not do that. I need to practice that a little bit. Can I, please? Okay. Um, yeah. I have a picture. Jesus, well, Jesus, well, shine him on. Thing called love. Well, we didn't do a love song tonight, did we? Or did we? No, well, not really. That's not really a love song either. Yeah, we did, sort of. Okay, we did. Yeah, let's do Jesus, well, shine him all. We're gonna wrap up for tonight. Sorry that we. Really, we really went over time. I'm trying to keep it down to an hour, an hour and ten minutes. Uh, but one quick question, a Bible trivia question. Who's supposed to make the coffee according to Scripture? The man is, because the Bible says he brews. And then here's one more. Where in the Bible does it say that men should do dishes? Well, that's found in 2 Kings. I will wipe Jerusalem as a man wipeth a dish, wiping it and turning it upside down to dry. So there you go. Amen. We're supposed to brew the coffee and wash the dishes according to the Bible. <laughs> eh, whatever. I kind of, that's, a, that's extra biblical there, I think. This is wrapping up. Thanks so much for joining us. God bless you. Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same place. Different songs. We're going to try this. Oh boy. Can't think of the melody right now, baby. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Mansions will listen on the hills of glory. Happy reunions on the streets of gold. Angel choir singing that praise forever. But Jesus will outshine. Get there, such sights I'll behold. A million streams of rare beauty will defend that I view them. Still, Jesus will outshine them all. Mansions will listen on the hills of glory. Happy reunions on.
Thanks for coming. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we know you will outshine them all, and you do right now. Even here in our hearts, Father, you outshine everything. We put you on the highest place we can. We thank you for taking us to heavenly places with you, Lord. And Father God, we praise you for the wonderful gift of redemption. Father, we just pray you bless each one who was in the room tonight with a, an awareness of your presence, with your anointing as they face the challenges of tomorrow. May you give them courage and strength. And what their needs are. You know what they are, Father. We ask this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you all. You're welcome.